What's the most difficult decision you've had to make to fulfill your destiny? Uh, for me, probably leaving an abusive relationship. For me, it was uh, realizing that I was not going to be friends with everybody along the path of achieving what I wanted. That, that I would have to, it's not that profound, but that I would make enemies, make people that would not be my friends and being okay with that. Okay, I have to follow up to be leaving an abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. What was the decision? There's a moment, was it physically, verbally, ver verbally both? Uh, psychological, verbal, okay. Okay. Um, and a, yeah. Okay, yeah. and at what, what moment was it Several instances, or yes. at some moment you decided. Uh, it's something. So a line got drawn in the sand, and it got crossed, and my brain just switched, and I knew it was going to be very difficult, but I just couldn't go any further. Um, but it was profound, and I was young, really mm -hmm. young. And that made all. The I difference. could never be the person I am today. I, I was a different person too. It yeah. changed who I was on a cellular level. The fact that I stood up for myself. The fact that I, and it, none of the, leaving those situations is easy because it's wrought with self doubt. Particularly if someone damages your self esteem, yeah. mm. which is, yeah. I mean, you, people say to me they knew me then. They're like, you're a complete. I didn't have self esteem. I, it, you know, mm -hmm. and and I'm a different person now. And it's part of the reason I can stand up and say yes, I'm ambitious and yes, this, because. Someone tried to take that from me. And before. it's also part of the reason why you want to, or a part of your drive is telling the complexity of those stories for other women. It was incredible when we did Big Little Lies, how we would sit around all the women and talk about each one of us had very specific experiences. They weren't, there was a range of experiences, but there wasn't a woman there that hadn't been affected by abuse. Not one wow. of those women, and it's why we decided to make this show. Yeah, and I and, and, I, and I, 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 I'm hard pressed to find any group of women where you can't say it happened. To me, it happened to my sister. It happened to my mom. Yes. I saw this, or mm -hmm. and there's a range of abuse. You know, right. there's there's verbal, there's psychological, there's there's so many things other than physical. Yeah, that can be completely detrimental to your self-worth, your self-esteem, and your progress. And you know what, it's all the same, because I remember holding as a standard for myself, having grown up watching um, a cousin of mine who was like my mother's sister, and we, I grew up in the house with her older cousin, and her boyfriend used to abuse her. So that was my standard. I will never physically abuse her. And as a kid, I was like 10 years old, saw him knock her down the stairs. So my thing was, I'll never let somebody hit me. I'll never let somebody yeah. hit me. Mm -hmm. So I lived in that superior, better than thou space of, as long as he doesn't hit me, well, he can say anything, mm -hmm. he can do anything, but as long as he doesn't hit me. And one day in my 20s, guy was leaving, the person who wouldn't hit me slammed the door on my hand and I fell. And I saw myself in the mirror and I realized I had become that woman who would allow myself to be psychologically, verbally mm -hmm. assaulted and uh, that there was no difference between that and being actually hit.